heard those gusty winds, felt those winds. I almost thought I was gonna get blown away myself. We were feeling a lot of it uh, around the region yesterday, or yeah, yesterday with the wind. Uh, I was looking tonight, no major power outages tonight, so things much calmer today. I did want to mention too, we didn't talk about this earlier, we've had three aftershocks from the earthquake we had in San Benito County earlier today. They've all been below magnitude two though, so nothing major, but we'll keep an eye on those aftershocks for you. Let's take a live look from Domenico's on the wharf. If there was a Ferris wheel on the wharf, it wouldn't be shaking all that much, although it is still breezy out there in Monterey tonight. We've been dealing with the spring winds the last couple of days. You know, just like that Sinatra song, the sp uh, spring winds. Is that right, Frankie Blue Eyes? Is that what we're talking about? I know it's the, they say summer winds in my ear. Of course, it's, that's the joke, Isaiah, okay? You'll get it there eventually, feller. All right, so we can see a little rippling on the water right now in uh, in Monterey. We've had some wind today. It hasn't been too strong, but not like yesterday, but still seeing gusts to 21 miles per hour in Monterey this hour. Otherwise, winds have generally calmed down. It is cool out there, though, so even with a little wind, uh, temperatures are feeling cold. We have partly cloudy skies tonight, few low clouds hugging the hills and a few high clouds passing through, but generally high pressure and control off to our southwest. This northwest flow that we're in, though, is still somewhat of a cool and breezy flow for us. So it will take some time for the air mass moving in to modify and the ridge is trying to do that. So I'm expecting a warm up in the coming days. But in the meantime, expecting those high temperatures to remain below normal for this time of year. So don't throw away the blankets just yet. I do expect warmer weather by the weekend. It does get a little complicated and here's why. This ridge is gonna flatten out a little bit. So weather systems like this will have a chance of making it farther to the south. And we see one reaching the Monterey Bay area on Friday. So it looks like we are going to see a little bit of precipitation within our viewing area Friday. I don't expect it to be a big deal. The farther north and closer to the coast you live, the better your chance. So like Davenport and Bonnie Dune, probably going to see a little bit of light rain on Friday. Parkfield? I mean, I wouldn't cancel your outdoor plans. And really, even areas that do see some precipitation, it should be light, less than a tenth of an inch. And that's looking like Friday. Beyond that, another system sneaking in from the north this weekend. It's close to us as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Haven't pulled the trigger on rain on those days just yet, but we're watching it, okay? It's been trending a little bit wetter. At the moment, though, still expecting some warmer weather this weekend. The general air mass going through a warmer transition. Now, I think that will come to a halt, and then next week we will be a little bit cooler. But in the meantime, heading into the holiday weekend, expect a slow warm up in temperatures. In the meantime, also uh, a couple of cold days to get through, even with some sunshine. Now, as we look through the forecast overnight, partly cloudy skies expected. Few clouds hugging the hills. Might see a little fog in sheltered valley locations. And then tomorrow afternoon, this is lunchtime tomorrow, seeing some clouds pop up over the hills. They'll be like the flat cumulus clouds. So little flat pancake clouds, but are kind of fluffy a little bit. You know, the ones that you draw on that map on the canvas when you just want to feel happy. You know our old friend Bob, he does that, right? Either way, that's what I'm expecting tomorrow afternoon. May see a few low clouds near the coast, but they won't be everywhere. Uh, tomorrow evening, we'll see a slight increase in some high clouds, but just passing high clouds and should color up the sunset, and that should be about it. Tomorrow's air mass warming up about two to five degrees compared to today, so all of us should be warming up at least a couple of degrees. Santa Cruz, we've got you at 60 tomorrow. Still cool for this time of year, but you know, maybe a little bit warmer than we've been. 58 in Capitola, 50s in Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys for highs, and even 50s up high in the mountains. Lows, though, still tomorrow morning on the chilly side. 36, that's what you wake up to in Boulder Creek and Bonnie Dune. Definitely a cool start to the day. Watsonville actually in the mid 30s as well overnight. Same in Aptos. Uh, we're back to the upper 50s. Salinas, you get to 61 tomorrow afternoon. Low 60s in Hollister, but staying in the 50s on the southeast side of the bay with winds coming in off the water. They will still be there tomorrow. The winds that is just not as strong. So maybe the dune just barely crossing the fog line in Sand City as opposed to trying to take the whole southbound lane of Highway 1 tomorrow. So we're making some improvements, right? 55 in Monterey tomorrow. Mid 50s in Seaside, lows in the low 40s, and then down south, we will see a cold start to the day with some low 30s. Can't rule out a little patchy frost in some area, but it won't be uh, widespread 
And then we'll see a few 60s out there. In fact, maybe mid 60s in Bradley tomorrow afternoon. And just really the start of our warming trend, which will continue for the remainder of the week. Let's get you to that seven day forecast now. Uh, we head into Friday. Temperatures will be about five degrees warmer than tomorrow, but we do have that chance of some light rain. And even though a cold front is technically moving through, it won't put a stop to our warming trend. In fact, we will continue to warm on Saturday and into Sunday, high temperatures should be at or slightly above normal. We're still watching a couple of weather systems are gonna pass just to our north. If they dig a little farther south, that could mean some light rain for us. I'm not expecting any picnic ruiner, ruining types of systems though but we're still keeping an eye on it. Beyond that, next week, temperatures kind of level off. I do expect them to kind of cool off by midweek, and maybe we'll be talking about some more precipitation. No big storms on the horizon, though. Inland area is also a slow warm-up. Still a little breezy the next couple of days. We're watching for some rain Friday, but look at Saturday and Sunday, your average inland high in the 70s. That means places like Hollister, King City, you might be touching 70 for your Easter weekend. Looking pretty nice with that asterisk on there for those potential rain chances. So make sure to stay tuned to my forecast in the coming days. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much for that, Dan.